Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been a while, I've been on holidays and now we're back with our first tutorial again. A little bit late, has been suggested a lot and you've probably guessed it, it is how to get the Google Assistant on your Nexus 6P or really any device running Nuga and above. So you can be on the NBD91K or uh, the one before it or on the developer previews which I am on right now. I'm on the first developer preview, haven't updated just yet. Uh, but yeah, this should work on any versions of Nougat. So to continue, you want to make sure that you have the, the latest and greatest Google app or at least above this version I have here because this is the one that worked before. Uh, so yeah, you just want to have version 6.8.21.21 uh, or above to get this to work. I'm not sure if you have to have an ARM64 device but uh, I've seen people make it work on a Nexus 5 so probably not. So today we're going to be using a cool little app called Get Assistant it requires root or you can um, edit it edit the build prop manually inside the vendor image um, or the vendor partition so we're going to be using this app here that allows us a backup and restore and in case you happen to lose your backup you can just restore your vendor image and that should actually revert you back with a regular build prop so we're going to hit grant on the super user request and basically all you have to do is tap this get a system button and uh, hit yes. So this will change two things. They're going to change our device name I think and it was and they added an extra line for to enable you to get this assistant. So here it says um, usually you need to wipe Google data so it is clear search data. So we're going to do that and we're going to go into storage, manage space and then clear search data which is that top one there. I'm going to hit OK and we're going to go back and then we're going to hit reboot and our device should reboot yes, reboot and then it we should have the Google Assistant there so I'm going to wait for this guy to turn back on which shouldn't be too long uh, I don't need to enter my pattern anymore I uh, don't remember why but yeah, we'll wait till then and I'll be back when our phone turns on Okie dokie, we're back up and I'm on the Android beta program, that is cool. Now, uh, I just realized something that I should have probably talked about is that if you're on a custom ROM or something like that and it uses your build prop to check for updates, um, you're probably going to run into some problems there. So, yeah, just keep that in mind because it does change your device name. Uh, if we probably look at the settings and we scroll all the way down about phone, it does change our model. So it was the model that it's changed. What is that? Okay, that's all good. And uh, well. yes, I'm in. Well, it looks like it hasn't done anything, uh, which is not good. We'll try uh, clearing uh, Google's data again. We'll just clear it all. All of it. There we are. So now we've cleared all the data and it worked. Uh, so I may have read that wrong in the uh, Get Assistant app, but here it is Google Assistant. I'm going to hit continue. And I can't really remember the setup process, so okay. Yes, I'm in. They can know everything about me. Uh, the, Sure, why not? So this is how you do it when you set up. You're going to say, OK, Google. I've got to go closer. OK, Google. OK, Google. OK, Google. OK, Google. Well, it doesn't like me, so I'll do that a little bit later. And we're going to hit finished. So we can ask for trivial things. Oh, it talks. I don't know if you heard that. That was probably very soft. Uh, what's the weather like today? Give him something easy. Damn right, it's 25 degrees already. Woo. Uh, it should be better tomorrow. So uh, they say it's all contextual and whatnot, so you can ask the above or below questions uh, over here. You can ask about tomorrow, 
or the weekend, or in fact, um, something like, oh, uh, I know a good one. Like, where is the Eiffel Tower? And then you can say, how tall is it? Where is the Eiffel Tower located? The address for Eiffel Tower is Champ de Mars, 5th Avenue. See, they already give you the height and stuff. So I'm going to ask it. How tall is it? There we go. Um, I think that was in another demo somewhere. That's what I remember it from. But there it is, Google Assistant. And I can't remember if this has that, it reads the screen thing and it tells you some details about it. But I can't really go into too much detail on that because I don't know what to show you about that. So yeah, you just hold the button and basically the Google Assistant comes up and you can talk to it like that. Oh, oh, it's come up with a little app search. So this can also open apps. So do Google searches and uh, can it turn on the flashlight? Turn on the flashlight. Turning on flashlight. Worked quite well. Turn it off, please. Nice. So yeah, it can do all that. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's it guys, um, I'm sure you can play around with this yourself instead of watching me do it. Uh, sure, let me know in the comments down below, uh, whatever that you like, or whatever that you did. Uh, yeah. So I'm working on the other tutorials here and there, and this one should be uploaded, or well, the other ones should be uploaded quite soon. So thanks for sticking by guys, I know it's been two weeks since I've done anything really, but I have answered heaps of comments, which is, I think, okay. So yeah, that's how you get Google Assistant on your rooted Nougat device. Uh, or device running Nougat, and that's about it. So if you ever wanted to revert, and all you have to do, and you use this app, you can go to the app, and then there's a little restore button, just right under the get assistant button. When you hit restore, it will uh, pretty much give you, so yeah, it will change your product model back to Nexus 6P or whatever it was before, and it will remove that line, ro.opa.eligible underscore device equals true. So that will make it non-eligible for OPA. Uh, so yeah, you can restore like that. Otherwise, for example, you, um, I don't know, you deleted the app or something like that. Because I think they, res they keep the backup inside the app starter. So I guess that gets deleted after you uninstall the app as well. So if you, have, or if you can't restore anything, I'm pretty sure you can just flash the vendor image or use your favorite root explorer and change the build prop back to those original values, which you should already know, and remove the last line with the OPA eligible underscore device. And restart, and then, I don't think you need to clear the Google app data. I think you can just leave it as that, and we'll switch back to Google now. Otherwise, you can do the same thing I did a few minutes ago, and uh, re like clear all data for the Google app. So thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'll talk to you in the next one.